Good evening, this is the Oscar X video with Brother Bro, and it's time to review Exhibiting Forgiveness, directed by Titus Kapar. This is about an artist played by Andre Holland, who is unexpectedly visited by his estranged father and starts to wrestle with the idea of whether or not he should forgive him for what he had done to him and his family in the past. Overall, this film was really strong. It was a very heavy and tender family drama. Ingenue Ellis Taylor plays the mother, John Earl Jelks plays the father. All these three performances, some of the best you're gonna see this year. Andre Holland, is perfect in this role. It completely suits his sensitivity and his ability to go deep emotionally. There's just so much behind his eyes. Like he is just an incredible actor. It's just so great to see him in a leading role. And John Earl Jelks as the father, I mean, he has some incredible scenes. The first scene that he is in, when it's just him and Andre Holland. It's probably like a 10 minute scene. It's just dialogue and going back and forth between them, kind of fleshing out where they've been and realizing how they're in different places and starting to breach just slightly the rift that has been between them for many years. Andre Holland has PTSD from his father. So this situation of confronting him and just being in his presence is like extremely triggering for him. And John Earl Jelks is like at once, you know, not agreeing with his version of events and like doesn't really see how he arrived at accumulating all this fear of him and it's surprising to see how much the father like defends himself and defends his role in raising him and it's just extremely fascinating to watch this dynamic play out and to watch these people have a conversation and see like where they can meet. And a lot of heavy subject matter comes up about how people understand the past in different ways and how people approach reconciling these stories with one another, the stories we tell ourselves about the past, and also generational trauma, like why did the father behave this way? Like what was he taught? Themes that I really love to see in films that feel very grounded, extremely personal. I mean, I imagine for the director, this is an extremely personal. And then Ingenue Ellis Taylor as the mother is excellent here. And her character is grappling with something really interesting and deep, even though she is not inherently a part of this relationship. The story that she tells herself about the relationship is something that risks being shattered. And to watch her like handle that was just incredible. Bravo to all these three performers. All of them are at the level of, you know, Oscar nomination worthy, I would say. Oh yeah. Certainly a lot of credit goes to Titus Kapar as a screenwriter in his ability to so intricately craft each character's perspective and understanding of the past in the stories they tell themselves so that they can kind of live with what had happened. And the ways that these different perspectives of the past are at odds with each other and how the screenwriter lets them be at odds with mm. each other. Like doesn't try to unify everything in a super clean way. The movie actually doesn't take such a one dimensional view about what forgiveness means and how he should forgive and if he should forgive. I think where this character arrived in terms of like wrestling all these questions felt very realistic and measured. This character is also an artist and the movie is very much about the way in which we shape the past by how we think back on it. And this character's paintings aren't just a reflection of how he felt in the past, but they're actually an active attempt to reshape the past for himself or, or put it to bed to some extent or to attempt to extract some beauty from places that he feels are very ugly in his mind. I also thought the cinematography here was strong. It kind of reminded me of Moonlight, like it's a little bit languid, it really holds on the close-ups for a long time, and it doesn't feel like it cuts unless it really needs to. There's a little less style than Moonlight, but I think it serviced the drama and the actors really well. I also really like the theme about religion in the film, and I'm not gonna say more than that. I think this is a really great film about fatherhood in general. As the protagonist is also in the position where he's raising his kid the way that he thinks it should be done, and you know, is a really attentive and supportive parent. And I think the ending scene was really strong with like where it, we land in terms of the themes and what it's trying to say. Like it didn't feel too tidy. And I think the symbolism there with a certain piece of art was really well done and very poignant. If anything, like the movie made me feel really drained because it was kind of taxing to have like heavy scene after heavy scene slamming into that wall of like, confronting the thing that's most traumatizing to him. I was kind of exhausted after this movie, which is not a criticism of the film, but more just my reaction to it. There were a couple moments where I think the plot got heavy in a way that didn't necessarily add to like the depth. I did think that Andrew Day's character 
felt maybe a little overlooked just compared to, you know, the other three performances and how strong they were. I guess I would have wished that the time spent with these two as a couple in the beginning had maybe a greater payoff towards the end. I felt like her character is like a little lost. This is one of the best movies I've seen at Sundance and certainly one of the most well acted. And I would give it a very strong, close to a 9, 8 out of 10. Well, this is a really strong debut film, and I would give this a strong 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Can you forgive yourself before forgiving others so that you can forgive yourself?